what first attracted me to teaching was the concept of, of working with people and helping people. So what have you got so far? It says, should I live or die? Is it better to live a troubled life or to take my own life? If I die and forever sleep, there's no more troubles. When you see that, and educators call it the aha moment, where a student gets something that they've either struggled to get or a concept where they understand something new or apply learning uh, from past contexts. And that, to me, that's where, you know, I feel a sense of pride and, and just thrilled to be a part of that. I think social justice is uh, a term that we use to look at different social issues from housing to education to poverty to human rights um, and recognizing that within our world there, there are injustices. I guess there's a lot of those social, social issues in Edmonton that face the inner city youth especially. One of the biggest ones were stereotyped, looked at like we have no potential, we're useless, we're stupid gangbangers, we're criminals. I miss so much of my youth because of that crap. I missed out like years of chilling with my friends. I missed out like, you know, my little sister's growing up. I, I didn't see my little sister grow up. I seen her like a week ago for like the first time in like six years. We can't or shouldn't as a society just pursue the almighty dollar that there needs to be, you know, we need to ensure that people's needs are met and that, um, People are taken care of, nobody's left behind, and that everybody has, you know, an equal opportunity. Yeah, I've battled a lot of the issues too, and it's just, there's a strong support system and it helps you to guide you in the right path because I know I have potential and I can do something with my life, but just need a little bit of help and this is what they offer you. I think a lot of people are uh, a little uh, frustrated or, or disheartened by the fact that, you know, Alberta is this land of great opportunity and, and of promise, um, and people come here, and you know, with with rising costs and trying to make ends meet, um, and wages not necessarily coinciding with those, uh, people are struggling. Well, and that's I mean, again, you know, we talk about potential. That's why we're here. Right, is that, you know, and this is where I get frustrated and part of the reason why I got involved in politics is that, you know, like you had said, Kyle, people turn their back on you and it's frustrating for me to hear that because we see the potential in all of you and, and you know, I mean, all of you are extremely bright and capable. And because of either the cards that you've been dealt or the situation that you come from that's out of your own control, I mean, why shouldn't you have the same opportunity as you know, whether it's the rich preppy kids down the street or, or anyone, right? Um, and so it's about giving everybody those opportunities and that's why the school has everything that it does, right? I mean, how can we expect you to, to come to school and concentrate if you're hungry or if you're constantly worried about housing or daycare or the costs of, of living? Um, or even if you're just tired and you need coffee. Yep. Or a warm place to be. Yeah, yeah I'm worried about it too. And I, I do honestly believe that if people see change is possible and that they can contribute to it, they're more likely to participate in it. And so, in areas like my own, I think um, we're going to see a, a fair number of people turn out to vote um, and who, uh, who are said it's time for a change, it's time to get some new blood into the legislature and uh, you know, someone who's going to work hard to represent them.